Hi guys, welcome to episode 4 of my geology series and today we are doing an exciting hike uh, to the grassy lakes. I'm often asked how the reservoir looks like under the ground and the easiest way to explain it is to show you guys the reservoir that's exposed above the ground. Clearly it's just rocks, it's a Devonian reef, so we're going to check it out and I will show you some things that you should be looking in the reservoir if you're a geologist. Let's go! The Grassy Lake hike is a very popular destination for tourists. If you're visiting a town of Canmore here in Canada, that's one hike you must do. It's very easy. The elevation gain is only 200 meters. The top elevation is only 1500 meters, which is about 5,000 feet. So it's very easy hike. Even if you're going with kids, there are two different hikes, hard and easy, easy. You can go with a stroller, hard one, um, probably not doable with a stroller, but is doable with older kids. And at the very end of the hike, uh, you can see beautiful emerald colored lakes. So that's what we're gonna go check out right now. Grassy Lake hike is actually one of the hikes required uh, by university uh, for us as students to take during our field courses because along the hike there's a lot of outcrops that represent shallow marine depositional environments. You can find Cooking, uh, cooking Lake formation here, uh, Leduc Full Reef formation, Ayrton formation and base of the Nisku formation which represents a lot of different depositional environments and it's great to see in very clean outcrops with very picturesque landscapes. what a reservoir looks like under the ground this is a great example this is a carbonate reservoir that geologists look for to drill into um, this particular reservoir uh, was uh, deposited during sea level changes sea level rises and sea level falls and in this particular location you cannot see a lot of fauna a lot of organisms that created this reef uh, but majority of this reef complex was uh, deposited uh, due to organisms called stromatoporoids, which are sponges that are now extinct. What makes this reservoir fantastic for oil and gas is it has really high porosity, really high permeability, and it's very uh, easy to locate during geoseismic um, surveys. And uh, this is what the reservoir is. This is what geologists look for under the ground. The porous nature of the reef complex makes grassy lakes a very popular rock climbing spot. Also, after some looking around, I found stromatoporoid fossils, which at the first glance look like little fossilized branches, but are actually ancient calcareous sponges. The Devonian reefs that I'm standing on right now played a very important role in Alberta economy uh, because their equivalents uh, uh, in subsurface were major, major reservoirs, first discovered in the uh, town of Leduc in 1947. And they've supplied, since then, they've supplied more than uh, 19 billion uh, barrels of oil and some. 120 uh, trillion cubic feet of gas and that's because they contain very really good porosity very good permeability and the, uh, their proximity to the source rock uh, makes them excellent reservoirs if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel to see more geology related content also follow me on instagram at shylemagirl for some awesome mountain view photos Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.